Thank you all. Good morning. Thank you so much. This truly, truly means a lot to me. Uh, very familiar faces. Uh, and, uh, and I know it's going to be a struggle, but you were with me the first go around. Please be with me and continue this, this next go around as well. Now. Four years ago, my wife, Meva, and I, with the help of our three children, embarked on a journey, a journey to help our city. It was a daunting journey that required courage to navigate the unpredictable world of politics and its many, many hazards. It was our sincere attempt to give back, to do our part, and to try to improve, to change, to transform the city that we so love and cherish. Laredo is not, not only where I'm from, Laredo is a big part of who I am. I grew up by Mier, Marsella, in the Springfield area of Street Sarah, by La India Spice Company. I remember riding my bike to Glass Kitchen <laughs> to meet my friends at the school. I see some friends here with us. I remember walking barefooted and getting the best raspas, and I think you all can concur, the best raspas of some arripas there by uh, uh, West Langer, uh, there at the end of Mare Street, more or less. Uh. I was baptized, confirmed, and made my First Holy Communion and married at Christ the King Church. Uh, we built our home in South Laredo. We were there uh, in 1983, and we've been there since. Uh, we raised our three children there. Uh, the Raider provided and continues to provide my family with many blessings and, of course, so many friends. Uh, thank you. Uh, we love our city. We love our community. Uh, we're committed. Uh, yet, to us, this community of ours appeared to have fallen into a cycle of scandalous uh, political upheaval, uh, mischief, and embarrassment. We deserve better. I thought our community was destined for something greater. You do too. Uh, that's why you're here. If only the right decision makers were at the helm of our city. Four years ago, I asked for your support. I asked for your prayers. And you elected me mayor. Mayor of this magnificent city. You believed in me. And what I stand for. My integrity. My values of faith, family, and community. And throughout those, these four years, you have witnessed my no-nonsense, common-sense style of governance and my stand-strong decision-making abilities. Although our efforts have made an impact, so much more remains. Ladies and gentlemen, our mission for positive change is not over. I want to continue being your mayor so that I may finish the job, the job that you elected me to do, uh, the job that we, all of us, started uh, almost four years ago. Again, our city deserves better. Uh, City Hall must be more open, more transparent, and accountable to the people, to serve the people. That's the most important end. Although we've made strides, all expenditures nowadays are actually posted in the web. We have the internal auditor now, with the help of counsel. She's as busy as ever, conducting audits and presenting those to counsel every time we meet on regular sessions. Uh, professionalism, where public servants are sought out, measured, and retained by their professional qualifications should be the principle. Uh, integrity and the highest ethical behavior should be the standard. It is through these means, ladies and gentlemen, that public trust and public confidence in our city government will gradually increase 
It will prevail. We will prevail with your support. We must also keep the doors to City Hall open for all of us. Open to our citizens where public comments at public meetings are valued and they're encouraged. For veterans will be honored, respected, and sheltered. Open to our employees and contractors where there is a level playing field for everyone who is qualified, who is qualified to participate. That should be the standard. And we're getting there. Uh, open to our business community so that existing businesses feel respected, feel appreciated, so that new businesses will consider Laredo for their operations and in turn help create more diverse diversity and a sustainable economy. Open to our local institutions of learning and skill training. Our ISDs, private schools, LCC, TAMIU, and others, their boards, administrators, uh, teachers, and instructors must be reassured that the city is their ally, the city is their partner, and we are. We understand and appreciate all that they do, producing good students, quality professionals that will meet our current and future workforce needs. We also understand that education is all of our responsibility, parents in particular. And open to our friends. Our city must be open to our neighbors in Robledo and the entire border region and beyond us, so that the Puerto Laredo always remains competitive, attractive, and keeps its title that it's earned. The largest inland trade port of the Western Hemisphere. There's so much work to do, uh, so much work to reach the next level. For me, reaching the next level means following and implementing the newly completed comprehensive plan for our city so that our people, including the less fortunate, will have a better quality of life with more disposable income, money in their pockets. It means public safety and security through the valiant efforts of Laredo PD and our fire department. This is paramount. And we must respect their opinions and recommendations, work closely with all federal, state, local, county, law enforcement agencies to accomplish our needs. We work together. It means city services will be efficiently and timely delivered, including completion of the traffic light synchronization project covering major arterial threat or city. It means taxes and fees should not be raised unless it is clearly shown by city management that all other internal budgetary components have been thoroughly exhausted. Ladies and gentlemen, we need a more effective, a more leaner city government. It means a secondary independent source of water to be evaluated as soon as possible by the Water Committee and present it to council in the near future. Uh, much remains to be done. Uh, our people deserve better, ladies and gentlemen, and are demanding it. Decency is crying out for positive change. And this will be accomplished through good government, good decision-making, data-driven decision-making. I believe Laredo's destiny of change it's within our grasp. Together, let's continue to raise. We've got to raise the bar of our city's governance. Raise the bar of ethical and performance standards. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask that you continue to stand strong for change with me and together we will move right up to a new and unprecedented heights. We can do it. Uh, together we will improve the course of Laredo's future for the good of all people uh, into an era 
of professionalism. Laredo's a big city. Uh, we got to act professionally. Uh, in an open government, an era where business is diverse and booming, uh, an era where everyone is welcomed and no one is left behind, no one. An era of fairness to all and where transparency abides. An era where our city becomes more livable, more affordable, and where public trust and public confidence abounds the halls and the rooms of City Hall. I stand strong on my vision, ladies and gentlemen. I stand strong on my abilities, my accomplishments, and on my continued commitment to you and to your families and all families of Laredo are uh, having a city government of the people, for the people, and by the people. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to continue serving you as your mayor. And if you find me worthy, I respectfully and humbly ask for your vote for your support and for your prayers so that victory will be ours in November. Thank you. Viva Nuestro Laredo! Viva Texas! Viva Estados Unidos! Our journey continues, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much.